What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.1 beta 2 to registered developers and it's likely to come out for public beta testers later today or tomorrow. So as you can see here, the update came in at 329.8 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus, which did of course come from beta 1. It was about a 2.6 gigabyte download here on my iPhone 10s, which came from iOS 12. So not a very big update whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build number here. You can see the build number there is 16B5068i. So of course a long build number as we are expecting multiple betas in 12.1. So now what has changed in beta 2 compared to beta 1 and of course compared to iOS 12 and there's not really much again it was a small update but there is something major and that's that we have a lot of new emojis here with beta 2 of iOS 12.1. There are more than 70 new emoji here in this software update and you can see here are three of the new faces. You can see we have a tooth there as well. We have a party face. We have a lot of different hair Style. So if you go and select on one of these, you can see we have a red haired lady and you can see we even get a new pop up here in 12.1 beta 2 showing this and you can see the different colors right there. We also have bald people with just different characters in here, different hairstyles. We have this yarn ball right there. We have a ton of new animals here. We have a kangaroo, a peacock, a parrot, a lobster. And if we go over to the food section, you can see we have like mango, we have lettuce, we have cupcake and you can just keep on scrolling over and you can see there are tons of new emoji here in iOS 12.1 beta 2. So new emojis are always welcome. It's always awesome to see new emojis with software updates. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be excited about these new emojis. You even have a superhero down here, which is pretty cool. So just lots of cool new emojis here. So what else is new here in beta 2? And something that I believe has been enhanced is group FaceTime. So as you guys know, group FaceTime was re-enabled with beta 1. And I'm pretty sure beta 2 is going to fix a lot of the bugs that we experienced in beta 1. And me personally, I had a very weird crashing bug where basically once somebody joined in my group FaceTime, the application was just crash on my main device and I noticed that it was only the device that started the group FaceTime call so that bug I did not have that when I just tried to reproduce it so I'm assuming that was fixed here in beta 2 and I'm sure there are other fixes as well just to improve group FaceTime now another important issue that has been going on is the charge gate issue as well as the connectivity issues with the new iPhone 10s and 10s max and I can tell you guys that I have iOS 12.1 beta 2 here on my iPhone 10s and I've been using it for the past you know 30 40 minutes and I have not had one drop from my internet so I can't say for sure if it's fixed but it's possible that there is a fix for the connectivity issues with the iPhone 10s and 10s Max and I can't personally speak on ChargeGate because I never had that issue at all with my iPhone 10s Max or my iPhone 10s or any of my other phones I never had an issue with them not charging when I plugged them in so I don't know if 12.1 beta 2 fixes that now there is also a fix here that I'm reading about for iPad so iPads apparently on beta 1 when you long pressed on the music platter inside of the control center it would appear way down on the screen so basically if you 3d touch here the music platter would show way down here instead of where it's supposed to show up apparently now in beta 2 that has been fixed and it shows up properly in the right spot so if you have an ipad and you can confirm that in the comment section below that would be great now as far as the performance here on beta 2 i haven't really noticed any difference at all compared to beta 1 and that's pretty much expected i can't imagine apple really did too much here from beta 1 to beta 2 besides add the emojis and of course it's way too early to talk about battery life but i will again in that follow-up video coming probably at the end of this week or next week I'll be talking about the battery life and performance as well. And again, I will let you know about the connectivity issues on the iPhone 10s and 10s Max and let you know if this beta fixed it. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 12.1 beta 2. If you found anything else, I'm sure there are other fixes and changes out there. If you found anything else, let me know down in the comment below. But that's pretty much all I have for you after using the software for about 30 minutes. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS beta coverage. And of course, a lot more interesting videos coming to the channel as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.